So once you have heard back from somebody saying, oh yeah, I know this person or that person, hopefully they give you the contact information. If they don't give you the contact information, I want you to ask for the person's phone number and email address and social media addresses if they have any. And what you're gonna do then, once you have some contact information for some entertainment person, uh, is to simply start that process that I just explained to you all over again, but with the new person, with the entertainment industry person, okay? So uh, just to recap what that is, you're going to send them an email. Well, actually, you're gonna call them first. And basically what you would say in the phone call is was what more or less you would write in the email, and that's, hey, how are you? My name is David Patrick Green. Um, I'm contacting you because I've been following your career for a while, and I gotta tell you, that last movie you made is one of my favorites of all time, at least in the comedy department. And the reason I'm reaching out today is because um, since you are um, someone who I admire so much, and I am entering the business, I thought I would offer my services in the following way. Um, you know, I'd love to volunteer in your office. I'm really good at washing coffee mugs. I am really good at computer programming. I'm an accountant. I know skills. Whatever it is that you can do for them is what you offer. And, you know, say, look, my availability is two days a week from two to five in the afternoon or whatever it is. You know, and if they sound amenable to that, then, you know, it's probably just going to be a question of whether they can pay you or not. And that's negotiable. Uh, it's much easier for someone to say yes to you if you don't need money right away. Because what you're going to get in terms of learning and in terms of making connections in the business will be far worth more than the 10 to $15 an hour or whatever it is that they might be able to pay you or that you're making at Starbucks or that, you know, you might have to sacrifice from Starbucks for a few hours a week to get into the business. Um, it, this is invaluable. You cannot calculate how valuable a relationship with somebody like that is. So that's all you do is, is you send out the email or you call first. You see if you can make a connection over the phone. Uh, I recommend not to leave a message because what are you going to say in the message? You know, you could say your whole spiel, but then if they don't call you back, then... It's a, little, it's a little more difficult calling someone back who you have left a message for because you kind of know they got it. But either way, you've got to follow up, follow up, follow up until they tell you to F off <laughs> or they tell you no. You know, they can, they can tell you no, I'm not interested in what you have to offer, which is fine because all it means is that moment right then and there, they don't have a use for your skills or services. You can always improve them and come back. Uh, or you can just move on to the next person that you get on your list. But that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. Let me know what you think. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, share. Click the bell for notifications. And uh, check out my uh, Hack Hollywood merchandise at teespring.com slash Hack Hollywood. I will talk to you later.